Oye, mamita, cuando te vea la próxima vez, que sea un poco más durito, ¿eh? And I'm me rougher, ¿eh? What would your most loyal follower, Luisa, say about that? Who? Luisa, the girl from Campo Morada. Uh, her, I... A gentleman never tells, but she was a most wonderful... Uh, I just say she was incredible. Yes. Let me tell you something. I strongly recommend her. You take her when you have the chance, my brother. <laughs> she thinks she's your wife. My wife? These peasant girls, they believe every word a fellow says. So naive. It's really quite charming. I love peasants. No, you love peasants? I love them. They have such purity. Are you gonna marry her? <laughs> marry a peasant? My dear boy, don't be absurd. I'm going to be the next president of Mexico. My wife will meet ambassadors, kings, other great men. The very thought that I would marry some peasant girl with a tight gun and the hands of a farmer. Well, I really don't think so. My mother, que yo la cuide, would turn in her grave. Interesting. But come on, let's run. I've got an amazing present for you, my brother, I huh? guess? The man you seek. Together, we will bring them to justice. Let's go. <laughs> My men will launch a ruse attack on the side entrance to the fort. Meanwhile, you, my American friend, will drive this wagon at the front gate and jump off when you're close. It's been packed with five crates of TNT. That sounds crazy. How long's the fuse? <laughs> yes, like I say, fun times. It's plenty long enough, I think. Good luck, my brother. We will be right behind you.
find them way up before he escapes, my friend! Time. <laughs> Hello, brother. It's uh, good to see you. I heard you was coming. You took your time, no? Come on, you're not gonna shoot your own brother, are you? We was family. Yeah, we were. Then you and Dutch went crazy and family didn't mean so much. <laughs> so now you do the government's work. And what do you do? You just work for a different government. <laughs> Come on, brother. I think we should go our separate ways, huh? What you and Dutch did was wrong. And the way you left me was wrong. Now, I hate to judge, but as it turns out, it's you or me. The way I see it, might as well be you. We thought you was dead, brother. I promise. I'm telling the truth. Besides, I can give you Bill. And Dutch, Dutch is in Colombia. I can take you straight to him. Hmm? You left me to die whoa. to save your own skin, and now you expect me to care whoa, about whoa, you? You got it all wrong, brother. I've always loved you. Even now. Who's having no fisting with now, huh? Years ago, when you had the chance! Marston! Come with me! The army sent reinforcements! Come! The army is coming! Get up there and man that cannon!
Two old friends reunited. It is a beautiful thing. Mr. Marston, fancy seeing you down here. Well, it is a pleasant surprise, I must say. He's not looking very healthy. We told you to keep them alive. You should be glad to have them at all. Just remember your obligations to the government, Mr. Marston. We need you to find Williamson, then head to Blackwater as quick as you can. We have reason to believe that uh, Dutch Vandalin is in the area. Your wife sends her regards. <laughs> People are finally ready. Today we overthrow the coronel. Señor, there are prisoners in jail who will fight on our side. Can you save them? Some of my best men are held in Allende's jail. They will be a great help to us. La tierra es de quien la trabaja. Ustedes han sufrido la tiranía y la opresión. Marchamos sobre la mansión de Allende. Juntos podemos devolver el poder al pueblo. Me llamo Abraham Reyes. Únanse a mi lucha. Por favor, no tenemos nada. ¡Quieren aprender de boca! ¡Intruso! ¡Quieren liberar a los presos! ¡Cántenlo! Mi nombre es John Marston. ¡Libéranos, amigo! ¡Somos leales a Abraham Reyes! Reyes is getting ready to attack a living man. Gracias, señor. Eres un amigo de México. ¿Qué haces? Idiota. Abran paso, cabrones. Ya no sufrimos la tiranía. Es un traidor. Aceptamos la barricada. Somos mis. Tomamos la mansión de Allende. Go 
for the machine gun junk. We will blast through the door with gold powder barrels. Wait while we get everything into position. We have to get through the gate! Hachas, it's in a point of ajo. Just let me live. I will leave the country, I promise. You always was weak minded. People are free, and it is all thanks to you, Joe. And to the people who laid down their lives. People like Luisa. Oh, yes. She, 
She was very brave, and she will be missed. Who was she again? Your peasant girl wife-to-be? Oh, yes, of course. She, she will have a day named after her. Laura's day. Louisa. What? Oh, yes, I, I know Laura as well. Magnificent girl. Like riding a pompous bull it was, amigo. You never saw anything like it. Anyway, enough about sport. Let's get back to politics. I trust you will join us in riding on the capital. I'd love to, but with Williamson dead, my jailers need me back in Blackwater. Hey, que hacen? Levanten, sing. Well, I must say, I'll miss you, young Marston. I doubt you'll even remember me, Abraham, but it's been an experience. Good luck with the revolution. If you win power, remember why you wanted it. Mm. Well, travel safely, amigo. Come on. See Mr. Ross? 107, 109. Edgar Ross. 113. Upstairs on the right. 114. 115. 116. 117. Mr. Marston, I'm so glad to see you. How was your journey? Where's my wife and son? Being well looked after. Well looked after. I want to see him. Mr. Ross wants to speak with you. We've had some important developments. You want me to take out a gun and blow a fucking hole in your head right here? <clears throat> right now? You want that? Mr. Marston. You want that? Mr. Marston, I ask you to calm down. Why? Why? I did what you asked. I got you Williamson and Escuela. It's over. Stop playing games with me. <laughs> no one's playing games with you, Mr. Marston. But if we were to play some games, there'd be some interesting ones we could play. Think, sir? Like hanging you for murder, or confiscating all of your property, like that little farm of yours, or, or having you put in an electric chair. Those are the sort of games we could play. But we choose to play a different game. So calm down and play along with us. Where's my wife? <laughs> you know, I forget, but I hear it's very nice this time of year. <sighs> Mr. Marston, please, I've never insulted your meager intelligence. Do not insult mine. We've done this little deal for your freedom in exchange for all your men from your old gang. You gave us Williamson and Escuela. We still don't have Vanderlyn, but now we know where he is. Then go and shoot him. No, sir. I want you to shoot him for me. And then I'll let you be. The last thing I want to do is make martyrs out of all these people. He could be killed by some petty squab or by another lowlife. <laughs> we believe Vanderlyn just holed up with a group of renegades near the wreck of the Serendipity Riverboat. Ah, <sighs> yes. Another group of renegades. Obviously, the first group, your group, has well, shall we say, been disbanded? <laughs> disbanded. Anyway, Mr. Ford and Mr. Marston, shall we go? Oh, Mr. Marston, your wife and son are, are doing well. Let's both try to ensure things stay that way. Okay? After you, sir. Oh, Mr. Marston, one more thing. This is for you. You're too kind. See, I have nothing but your best interest at heart. Let's hope it doesn't go off by mistake. 
343. I, I have a patent for that, sir. This is an outrage. Oh, Mr. Marston. <laughs> You're alive. Hello, Wes Dickens. <laughs> Thought you were headed to Peking. Um, so did I. So did I. A long story. But now it seems I'm being put under arrest and charged with narcotic possession or some other such nonsense. Ross, have him release this man. Why? Because he's a harmless old fraud, the kind of man that built this country. And because he helped me get Williamson. Did you hear that, officer? The man's a hero. Let him go. Come on, Marston. Moral degeneracy waits for no man. Let's hurry along. <laughs> 344, 345, 348, 3... All right, Mr. Fordham, onward! Serendipity wreck has been used as an occasional criminal hideout for years. We were informed that Vanderlyn and his gang are making camp there. We'll stop on the cliff above, and you and Agent Fordham will go on foot. I'll stay with the vehicle and keep watch. And you'll do as I say, Marston. Don't try anything stupid. Oh, I think he knows what's at stake. Don't you, Mr. Marston? Let's find Dutch and finish this. Come on, then, Marston. You're with me. Keep quiet and stay close. Yes, sir. Vanderlind is the priority. We go in, take him down, and get the hell out of here. Quick and clean. You leave Dutch to me. We don't want you getting that suit dirty. If you step out of line, even once, well, I hope you're aware of the consequences. Seems real quiet, don't you think? You tell me. Maybe Dutch caught wind of things. That informant better not have been lying to us. Keep your eyes open. They are open. I don't see nothing. It doesn't feel right. This place is usually teeming with lowlifes. Did you hear that? Go see what's happening up there. I'll wait here. There's somebody up there! Over here! I found him! Good God, that's our informant! Nostis, what the hell's going on here? It's a trap! Shit, Marston! You'll have to carry this man! I don't think you can walk! Oh my good God! Bastard! 
We need to clear a path out of here. If you don't stop that, you ain't gonna live! in God's name is going on. Marston, lift this fellow into the back seat. Put him in the car so we can get out of here. Let's go. There might be more of them. Trap. They were waiting for us. And who is this savage? A prisoner? This is the informant, sir. Do you speak English? Uh, uh yes he does, sir. He's the informant. Look at Snarky with me, Fordham. We found him tied up on the boat. Then they jumped us. Nice of you to help us out. Hell of a plan sending in two men to take on an entire gang of outlaws. Especially when one of them's an office clerk. Or social secretary or some such. You shut your mouth! just gave out. Well, fix it, you fool. We need to get this man to a doctor. Of course, sir. It's Dutch's men. Marston, we'll hold them off. Hold them, we'll fix that damn engine. Any more of them. Fordham, are we ready? Yes, sir, I think so. 
Come on, let's get back to Blackwater. Damn, that was close. We're lucky to be alive. We should take the Indian to Professor McDougal. See what he can get out of him. Good idea, sir. I just can't communicate with him. Here we are. Thank God for that. So, this is the office of an anthropologist named McDougal. He was thrown out of Yale for a degeneracy. We should tell you something. Indeed, but he's been helping us deal with the natives in this area. They see him and they presume we're all idiot academics. Huh? Give me a hand here, Marston. Ah, Mr. Ross. Uh, Mr. Fordham? Good day, good day. What on earth's going on here? Kid got shot in the leg. <sighs> Beat up pretty good. We'll send a doctor. Now, McDougal, mm -hmm. we need information from this fellow about Dutch Vanderland. Can you see what you can find out for us? Do my best, sir. Make sure you do. <laughs> Professor McDougal has been a good friend of the U.S. government, Mr. Marston, just like you. Why don't you see if you can help him in his study of the native problem in this county? That's a good fellow. 